and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sultai Your Rock that we're going to be trying next in Best of One. Um, this list was originally posted in the Best of One uh, channel of the Discord channel. Discord is, of course, for everybody. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, you can join the Discord also. There's a link in all of the videos. Uh, to that and um, that's where I put like announcements if if something you know happens or if I'm if I'm uh, You know taking a day off or anything like that and uh, there's a lot of different rooms in there You know best of three best of one historic uh, even you know modern EDH uh, You know all sorts of stuff. So if you like talking magic, you know, you can join in there But yeah, so this this was posted in there. Um, I did change a, a few things to it though um, and uh, want to give this a try but basically <clears throat> the backbone of this deck i guess is is you know i'm calling this sultai your rock you know i didn't really know what to call this i guess i could just call it sultai midrange but you know like this is a, a your rock deck like we're we're trying to trigger things multiple times um i think you know like having like uro trigger twice could be really cool omen of the hunt trigger twice um but like the other the other thing that that this deck's doing that the main reason why I wanted to play it is because we got Dread Presence and Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Ed Boysum, a brand new Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. There, yeah, there's a Thassa in here. Um, so we have we have that combo. So Dread Presence, of course, triggers. Oh, that's thirteen. Dread Presence, of course, triggers when. You, whenever a swamp enters the battlefield under your control, you get to choose one of those things. Well, if you have Dryad in play, then all all of your lands are every basic land type. So every single land that you play with with Dread with a Dryad in play is a swamp. So getting these two in play, of course, the Dryad can play multiple lands. Uro or Omen can go get put lands into play. Um, you know, Desperate can kill something, put a land into play. Same with Gross Spiral. So you can like get a lot of Dread Presence triggers in like one turn. Um, by, by playing multiple lands. And plus, if you have a Yurok, then each one of those lands trigger twice. And so you can really mow down the opponent pretty pretty fast with that or mow down their, their board. Um, so that, that seems like a, a pretty cool little, little combo that we have going on. Of course, Golos go, can go put a land into play, which can be a Swamp um, also. But besides that, we have, we have 11 Swamps. So, I mean, it's not a, a ton, but um, that could be pretty fun. And of course, you know, I, I can... Uh, I can work around that. I can try to play my other lands first and hold on to swamps for later on for dread presence. Um, but then, yeah, so something that kind of changed about is I put some two drops in here. I got some Meyer Tritons, a card that I just really, really like, and Lazav. And yeah, we're like self self milling basically for Uro, um, letting Uro um, have some more food and easier to for your Uro to escape. Um, but then also, of course, self-milling for Lazav, where Lazav can turn into a Dryad or a Dread Presence or a Yurok or, you know, any of these things. Um, and then, of course, like, uh, of course, we have the Agent of Treachery Thassa combo, which is awesome. Hey, Gatsby. Gatsby coming back with that Tier 3 sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. There we go. Thank you, Gatsby. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see how this deck works. Um, maybe it will, maybe it'll work and be really cool. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Let's find out. Sultai, your rock. Just something different. You know, best of one. Um, we're playing a lot of different stuff today. And, you know, we can kind of see how these cards work together and see, see what's good, what's not. Well, I hope we find an, another untapped land. Perfect. Because <clears throat> ideally, because I want to go Lazav on two and then Uro on three. But I guess we're going to gonna be shocking to do that. We do not need a third Yurok. Everyone is like, your deck's called Sultai Yurok, huh? Well, here's all your Yuroks. Your Hope you like them. Weston with the one-year hype. Thank you, Weston. All right, so I guess they have a shock. Or a Rimrock Knight. Oh, 
That one year hype gets us to sub number 15. not bad. Yeah, Lazava Uro, of course, is really nice. I can have Lazav turn into a Yurok also and play a Yurok. I can have double Yurok in play. Yeah, because Lazav keeps his keeps its name, and so it so it works. I may just block though the Scorch Bitter, obviously, and then then we trade with Scorch Bitter. I just have a lot of stuff to do with my mana anyway. Hmm. Yeah, because I can become Uro and attack next turn, but then I just gain three life, and then they're going to be doing a bunch of damage back. Like that's not a good, it's not a good plan. Um, my plan's to play your rock, so it's. Well, you you need uh, you need five mana to have Lazav become Yurok. Last turn I had, you know, it was my turn three. I just played my third land, and I played Uro and put a fourth land into play. I still don't have five five lands. I don't know. I kind of feel like that. You know, it's a lot of damage that I could save by just blocking. I mean, they, we knew that they had the Adventure Dwarf because they, they exiled it with the Light of the Stage. So, like, we knew that they were going to be playing Rimrock Knight. So I'm hoping if they if they have enough pump to kill the Yurok, then hopefully they can't kill Azav also, and we can at least trade with a fervent champion. Hmm.
Yeah, so like they basically turn the Bone Crusher Giant into doing three damage by doing that. Um. I'll take the lands, thank you. Now we got plenty of fuel for a row in the graveyard. Sure. I'll take the double rampant growth. Take some more lands. So that's six. And eleven. Yeah. <clears throat> it's fine. We're not dead to Embercleave with this block. Double arrow. And we're one and oh. GG's. Omen puts the lands into play tapped. So I couldn't couldn't omen and treachery. Alright, let's draw some lands. What do we got in here? 26? Okay, that. I know I need to keep swamps for dread presence but i think i still just play this <laughs> nice four color deck i need one black source in play anyway The same hand, basically. They're just starting first. They're on the play. Thanks, Zildjian.
So I think I'm gonna play Omen of the Hunt. Not Uro, because I want to make sure that we get a land. Or we may not hit the land with Uro. So they're flashing in, but then not doing anything. So, like, they got to... This has to be, like, Simic Flash. Another temple. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't dislike Uro in best of one Simic Flash. I think it makes sense. I think it works. Don't really want Dread Presence countered. That's kind of a perfect mana base of like, you know, four blue sources, six total mana when they have, you know, double sabotage, double brazen borrower. Works pretty perfectly. Hopefully not a third sabotage. You know, I can I can pay for quench. Sweet. Presence doing work. They kept a card on top. I guess they already drew that card, so that could have been the bar where they kept on top. Ugh, the fourth borrower? Come on. There's a lot of borrowing going on over here. Doesn't look so good for me. Doesn't 
not look so good for me. Ugh, I thought I thought we were gonna be doing pretty good whenever our, um, you know, one when our our dread presence resolved the first time, but then two whenever the agent treachery resolved that time. But they had the third and fourth brazen borrowers, and and that was a wonderful follow up with Nissa and Defrilled Mystic. Couple of times I thought we had that. Harness the elements. But the brazen borrowers got us. And just puts another card in their graveyard for their Uro. Oh, they didn't auto tap that very well. Now they don't get to play Brazen Borrower. Well, I mean, they could have another blue source. Well, maybe we have a chance, actually. Do we? I need them not to kill my Dread Presence, but I guess I guess we have to block with Dread Presence. Darn. Maybe they won't attack with the forests. Maybe they just attack with Preserver. That's a good sign. Yeah, maybe we have a shot. I don't really know exactly how I'm dealing with this preserver yet. We'll figure it out. The land shall conquer you. Need them. Obviously, like, they can't have a counter spell. The land will help us find a way. I need that dryad. 
in play whenever I did that. All right, Marias. But of course, Dryad lets us activate Golos. You know, so we can like play Dryad and play Golos and activate Golos. Okay, so you can activate Golos at any time. Oh, no, I meant to do the scry first. Oh, well. Hey, that's a good one. That's also pretty good. Too bad I'm going to mill it over. I guess I can draw it. Kind of doing it. The Great Henge? How do we beat that thing now? <laughs> Nefer, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I need to, my hypos are gone. I need to refresh the chat. Sorry, I'll leave in chat for just a second. And uh, back. So, sub number 16. I thought for sure we lost this earlier. I'd, you know, put up the loss, but I don't know. We're back in it. I suppose. Okay. We'll play this Yurok. I'm at 22 cards. I'm going to have to kill them. Mm -hmm. 
So I want Thassa. It's going to take a lot of mana. How much mana do I have? I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's, that's not enough mana for what I need. Um... Because I need... Uh... I'm going to have Lazav copy Agent of Treachery and then start flickering Lazav with Thassa. I'm just kind of worried about killing them in time. Before I run out of cards, doesn't matter. I guess I should, I don't know, I guess this, this mows him down pretty good. <clears throat> I don't want to row. Sure. Hey, Will. Hi. Well, yeah, this was pretty sweet. This was pretty sweet. And yeah, now Lazav can can be a new agent of treachery. Or it can be whatever they kill with Voracious Hydra. Fighting the Death Touch creature. I... I can just, I can basically just like tap their team and like attack out, I guess. Right, if I have enough mana with Thassa. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. If we, if we exile Lazav when it's copied and then have it come back, it is, it is going to lose the copy. That's true. I'm at 37. I'll just take it. Whatever. Exile, 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 exile. Machine gun, dread presence. Your rock, double dread presence. Play this swamp. This is some good magic right here. This is some good magic right here. <laughs> uh, I still have mana to activate this thing? Crazy. 
Oh, hey, another swamp. How about that? Uh, I can't even say good game because I gotta do all these. Alright, that was amazing. <laughs> that is Valley Town right there. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was that was worth it. I don't. We could probably just pack it up, call it a video. It's not getting any better. It's not, it's not getting any better. Yeah, I I didn't think I had any chance of winning. I I marked down a loss. I thought I was done. And then we found the agent of treachery, and then I was like, well, maybe I could steal their Nissa and ultimate. <laughs> Okay, uh, this this hand would be great if I had green mana. It would be great if I had green mana. I kind of want to keep anyway. Oh, we're on the play. I guess we have to mulligan. But man, this would be perfect if we had green mana. We're not ramping with this hand, and we only have two lands. But I don't want to go to five. So I guess we're keeping... And then I'm either putting back your rock or dread presence. I'll put back the dread presence. Yeah, this is like three jank decks working together. <laughs> Basically. No, not another land. I need more lands. I feel like they're going to counter my Atreus. Yeah, Meyer Triton's awesome. I kind of want to keep the swamps in my deck for Dread Presence and everything. So I'm going to put an island into play. I already got three black sources anyway. Yurok doesn't do a whole lot unless we re like you know if we resolve Yurok and then you resolve the other stuff also. Um. Oh, that was silly of me. Thought a quench. Yeah, that was pretty silly.
So I have three green, three blue, five black. So we'll get blue green. <clears throat> I'm the one flooding out over here. I could use a dryad. Turn on this Golos. Uh, just today is Monday. Monday we do best of one day Monday. So this is this is the day of the week that we play best of one. I play best of three all the other days of the week. But, you know, there's, there's people that like uh, playing best of one more. And so I want to give them a, a day of the week. Ugh. I guess I'm one short. Why can't I just kill Ral? Uh, oh, bruised my ego too. The search for the unknown. Not to buy. Okay, let's switch from seven. Thanks, Nadaba. So yeah, the two cards they took, I mean they put Kefnet and Outburst into their graveyard. So they put they took two pretty good cards. Land, land. All right, good enough. I need to play that first, of course, because, you know, we want to scry afterwards. Yeah. Could be worse. Do I just not have any castles in this deck at all? I don't. I feel like we should have some castles in here. At least have like one black castle. To go find. I mean, if I don't cast, it's not like I can just like sit back and, you know, it's obvious, obvious that they're going to just counter it, but it's not like I can just like sit back and do something else. Um, if I if I don't play anything, then they just get to play Borrower or activate Castle Vantress, and it's not like it gets better for me.
I think we have this. We're probably going to lose this. <clears throat> Guess we'll see, though. Hey, what's up, Mike? Thanks for that reset. Well, they've tapped out so I can take the castle. And I guess I need to play this swamp so I can activate castle now. Because they didn't tap the castle. We got another Agent of Treachery. Uh -oh. I mean, Uro is probably just better than drawing a random card. So that thing, that thing, that, that, and I guess one of the Urox. So we got two. Yeah, <clears throat> we should we should be dead. So I'm at 32 cards. Those are the bottom five. Transforming into Dryad? What Dryad? This Dryad? No. No, I mean, it was the Lazav was already a 3-5. If I transferred it into the Dryad, I would have died immediately. Wait, they didn't kill Agent Treachery? Swamp. Ugh. 
not swamp. This is already like the longest league that we've played today. <laughs> We're in the third game. <laughs> this is like longer than other, any of the other videos. Twenty-nine. I know all those. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Close. Finished at one. Would have drawn a swamp that one turn. Yeah, that was a fun match. <clears throat> Letting my uh, Atreus get countered with that mystical dispute could have been the reason why I lost that game you know we don't we don't know like all the rest of the particulars about what was in their hand and everything like that and what would have happened but that was a learn my lesson learn my lesson there Good hand. Uh, Meyer Triton, you're pretty good, but I need land. All right, now we draw a Swamp next turn. I can play the other Dread Presence, then play Swamp, and then kill Veteran and Worthy Knight. That's the plan. Or I'll just kill this Worthy Knight right now. So your other Knights get plus one, plus one. Would have drawn the swamp. Rude. <laughs> 
great hand, good curve out. And they were on the play. They got us. On the draw again. No. Don't have another good curve out. <laughs> yeah, you wanted faster matches. Good. I like the do nothing. I like that. Ritual of Soot. Oh, the Ritual of Soot I needed. Well, darn. Are like both cards I really needed, like basic forest and ritual of set. I don't know if that's better than just playing your rock. <clears throat> Maybe. Up dead. If I would have just bottomed the Meyer Triton, or just not play Meyer Triton, if I would just played the the three mana card instead of Meyer Triton, I would not have, you know, I would have not have milled over those cards that I needed. Obviously, it's just hi complete hindsight, but. Yeah, I, I, I could have played your rock. I mean, your rock was going to be. Yeah, I, I should have just played your rock. I should have played your rock. Yeah. Didn't really matter at that point. But I should have. On the draw again. But we have Ritual of Set. It's a card we didn't have the other two games. The. Uh, Matchup with Aurelia probably didn't matter that we didn't have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was just—it was obviously just a blind mill. I mean, it could have been—it could have completely been the other way that, that that we milled over like the two spells that got us to the ritual of certain land. Honestly, just a—you know—anything any, could have happened there. 
it was just unfortunate that it played out that way. It's not like you know, the, that means the next time that it's going to play out the exact same way. I haven't played against Jun Sacrifice in a little while. I wanted to lead with the Dread Presence instead of Ritual of Sooks. You know, they could play like Mayhem Devil, and then the Soot would be even better. Basically just getting rid of Gilded Goose. Gilded Goose is pretty awesome. So Lazav can copy Dread Presence. Oh, what's up, Brad? How you how you doing? Brad, I just bought a house in Denton. I'm gonna be moving back in uh, uh, probably probably about two weeks. Yeah, probably about two weeks. Oh, Brad McKenzie. Oh yeah, can't wait. Um... What are we doing now? We're going to take something. Which I guess it's just the witch's oven. Yeah, it's got to be witch's oven. <laughs> no attacks. It's going to be tough to stay alive. I need a... I need a Dryad. To turn all my lands into swamps. And then I need more lands. I guess I'm getting punished for using my Ritual of Set too early. Got rid of the Gilded Goose, but obviously two Mayhem Devils. 
Well then. That's good. Oh, I don't know why I didn't just sack that to Witch's Oven. I've just, I've kind of forgot that I had Witch's Oven. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I should have sacked to Oven. Not used to playing Witch's Oven in this deck, I guess. All right, cool. Yeah, Brad, I will. Yeah, I'll hit you up. So they can use Golgari Queen to get rid of their Treacherous Blessing. Only don't dwell on what's about to happen. There's the dryad. I guess we still need dryad. Yeah, he is Moxie. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm still gonna be a little, little bit short mana wise. game. Looks like it. Bantu with Treacherous Blessing is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Bontu Treacherous Blessing. Hey, Poppy. All right, two and four. Hey, we had that, that second game was just amazing, though. It was worth this. We're actually on the play. Those last three or maybe four losses, all of them we were on the draw. It's a good road to success and best of one is being on the play. Too black for that. So I kind of want to play your rock first and then your row. Euro. It's like if possible, that's what I want to do. So 
kills my dryad. Yeah, I think I probably have to do it. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Killing Fervent Champion right away <clears throat> so it doesn't get to pump the other one. And yeah, and it prevents Ember Cleave. And I just want to prevent the most damage to me because I'm going to be Ritual of Sitting. That is unfortunate. a great hand. GG's. Alright, so there's our Sultai Yurok deck. That second game was pretty incredible. Um, yeah, we got ran over by aggro a few times. Uh, if I would have cast Ritual of Soot right of way... Right away... Um, you know, we would not have been able to play the Desperate. You know, like we would have had just the four mana. But then I would have play, been playing Uro. I don't think that that means we would have won because you know, like we would have been at seven, and they, you know, they would have been able to just like play their three one and everything. I, I don't think we were winning that even if we would have played the Ritual of Sith the, at first. I think that that actually like that played out exactly how I wanted it to until the Annex drop. But yep, such as best of one life. Uh, this deck was was pretty sweet though. Um, got to do some really cool stuff with Dryad, Dread, Dread Presence, and everything. So fun deck. All right, uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, you know, hit that like button over there. Hope you enjoyed the deck. I know this isn't like the like one of the best best of one decks you can play. And you know, we we lost some uh, some close matches. You know, we didn't have the best record, but um, yeah, it was a fun deck. Um, so yeah, there we go. So that's Soul Tie Your Rock. So thank you so much for watching it, and I will see you for the next video.